There's one thing I'd like to add. I'm doing this at the beginning of this video because it's a point I've made in a lot of my videos and a lot of people miss it for some reason, but I'm always speaking of snakes that are non-venomous in my videos. I'm also considered a hobbyist, not a breeder. Breeders and hobbyists, a lot of hobbyists do the same things that breeders do. They keep their snakes in similar conditions. But it doesn't matter how you keep your snakes as long as they're safe and their health is an important factor to you. But I don't want people to get confused watching my videos. I'm not bashing breeders. I respect them and I totally adore them. If they do things right and they keep the animals healthy, that's all I care about. That's all any breeder should care about. But with thousands and thousands of snakes, you're gonna lose some. You're gonna have health problems. It's to be expected. Even with the small number of them that happen. So, you know, to distinguish between the two, we all achieve the same goal, but we just do it in a different way. Hobbyists are people that invest quality time with the snakes, handle them. And to be honest with you, snakes are better breeding animals if they're not socialized. I know people are going to freak out when I tell them this, but it's a fact that, you know, you're calming down some of those wild instincts when you handle your snakes and bond with them. But if you're using them explicitly for breeding purposes, then they are better off not being bonded with as much as a person would that's a hobbyist. You made a mess, you tore your shed, Chewy. But I just want to clarify that for people. I'm not against breeders at all. We do things on two different levels because we don't have as many snakes as breeders do and they have a larger responsibility than we do and it takes more of their time to take care of as many snakes as we, you know, as they have, but, you know, you have to learn to separate the two. We all have the same goal. We all have the love and passion for the animals. We should have, anyway. Some don't, unfortunately. But, you know, I'm speaking from the point of view of a hobbyist, not from the point of view of a breeder. I have bred snakes. It's not something I can do because I get too emotionally attached to them, but that's my problem. But, you know, I can understand a breeder's point of view that socializing them takes away from that natural drive to breed. And it does. I'm not going to deny that it doesn't because it does. Calming them down, taming them down. It won't stop them from breeding, but it does take away that natural drive that they need to be aggressive breeders and to mate. You can come out if you want to. It's really raging hot today. It's almost 90 degrees. I don't think you want to be out here for very long, but you can come out if you'd like. Yes, you can. It's my camera. Oh my goodness. Come out if you want to. I just hang out with him and out here he has an option. He can come out of his tote if he wants to and roam around in the grass or he can stay in here. It's up to him. I'm one that's never forced myself on my snakes because to me, you're giving them a message that you're being aggressive, and that's the last thing you want to be if you're trying to make your snake social friendly animals is always making them feel threatened and intimidated. So I don't force myself on them. Like I said, I do if it, they're in a situation they need my interference, but normally I don't, I don't bother them at all. I let them have their choice, do what they want to do. We just finished shedding two days ago. You gonna come out? Is it too hot for you? It's really hot today. I'm surprised he's not already huffing even in his plastic coat. You gonna come out? I'm just hang out with him for a while and see what he wants to do. And yes, my snakes are out. Every snake has a turnout each week. That's just the rules around here. Nobody gets left out. They don't bring them outdoors, I bring them out in the house. So they all get some freedom and some exercise outside their enclosures. You gonna come out or is it too warm? He'll let me know. I watch him and see what he's doing. If it's too warm for him, he'll try to hide in his coat. But if he's okay with it, he'll come out. It's kind of rough on me. The air is so thick here, it's horrible. Terrible. You want to come out? Huh?
You want to come out on the porch? You want to come out on the porch or you want to go out in the yard? Which one? I'll take you out in the yard for a little while, I guess. Hey! Hey, you going to come out? You can't get on the steps, so. though. Oh, you can't go get on the steps. No, you can't. He's noticed the changes. Okay, come on, I'll take you out in the yard for a while. All right.